Hi, welcome to Bicycle Tour and Explorer. i am been up in a motel since uh, March 22nd. Uh, I decided to buy myself an, a new sleeping bag and a new sleeping pad. Uh, the sleeping bag is a Big Agnes Lost Dog 15 degree sleeping bag with a, a sleep system uh, for, for your uh, sleeping pad. Um, I've been using the Big Agnes sleeping bag since summer of 2012. This is my third 15 degree sleeping bag. My last two sleeping bags was the Big Agnes Encampment 15 degree sleeping bag. Um, the first one was okay. It was kind of cold at night sometimes uh, in Southern California, but I decided to get the uh, updated with the 2017 version. I got it in January of 2018 when I was in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida, looking visiting some family. And sorry, I got tongue tied. And I decided to change the loops here because. It came with these little tiny black loops. You wouldn't be able to see those at night. So what I did is I took some cordage like this and made loops on the back uh, for the zipper zipper poles. And I used cordage like this for zipper poles so I can distinguish different types of uh, cordage. And this cordage here, this lime green, came with my new uh, Nemo uh, Aurora two-man, two-person tent. Uh, it's all green and a little darker green. But um, the Big Agnes uh, Lost Dog has a sleeping pad sleeve. The difference between this sleeping pad system than the uh, Big Agnes encampment sleeping bag that was designed in 2017 is totally different but I'll pull that out in a little while so you can see the difference but when you take a sleeping pad this is um, this is the Sea the Summit Comfort Plus self inflating sleeping pad is the rectangular wide, 72 inches long, 25 inches wide, 3 inches thick. Um, it packs down to 8.6 inches by 18 inches packed. The weight is a little over 3 pounds, maybe 3.5 pounds for the sleeping pad. Uh, sleeping bag is a little over three pounds, uh, or maybe it's less than three pounds. I'll have to look up the specs when I post on my YouTube channel. Um, but when you load the sleeping pad, you just take and uh, put it in inside your tent but not on the outside so it'd be a lot easier on a rainy day trying to get your uh, sleeping bag set up and maybe over time I'll get used to loading this sleeping bag sleeping pad in here in the sleeping bag and uh, I might have lost a little air just by settleization of the sleeping pad but but in the middle there's these little cord locks, cordage locks that, that was the original design of all the sleeping pad bags for backpacking for over the years. What you do is you hook up a cord and you tie it the other end with a toggle. And uh, you loop it with a toggle. Um, but when you flip it over, you should be able to have no problems having it flipped over when you when you lay in it. Zipper design is a little different. The inside is a little different. It's blue. 
Um, it comes with a storage shack. It comes with a stuff bag. I don't use this. I store with this. I use the uh, Sea Summit Event Waterproof Stuff Bag for this bag. Uh, part two, I'll come back and uh, with this uh, sleeping bag. And well, even the zippers when you're uh, zipping it up, you gotta be very careful because the uh, baffle on the inside gets caught when you're zipping it up, so you don't get snagged. But um, it's semi-rectangle sleeping bag. Uh, the big I just lost dog is semi-rectangle, and you can see right here as a hood. You can put your pillow on here, and I'll be right back. Hold on a second. Here is the uh, 2017 Big Agnes <clears throat> encampment 15 degree sleeping bag. And I've been using this since uh, February of uh, 2018. Every night I stay a little warmer in this one than I did the one from 2012. I do have a Big Agnes Gun Creek 30 degree sleeping bag. I'm going to replace that one with the Lost Dog 30 degrees and I want to sell that on the internet on Craigslist, really cheap. Um, but with this Big Agnes Encampment 15 and I'm just looking at it paired to the size they're both regular. Um, you can tell they're a little different. It looks a little longer, maybe a couple inches. <clears throat> it looks like about six inches difference on the, on the width. But the sleeping pad sleeve, you can see right here, there's a sleeping pad sleeve. All the sleeping bags go right in here. And uh, I haven't been using this in a while since I've been in a motel, but since uh, October of last year, I decided to use the uh, Climate Self-Inflate Sleeping Pad. It's 72 inches long, 20 inches wide. Two inches thick. It's R value 5.3. The Thermarest base camp is the same size 72, 20 inches, 2 inches thick. And the R value on that one is 5.0 or 5.1. I'm not really sure. And the weight on packing is a little different. The pack on the Thermarest is still 5 inches round and 20 inches 21 inches long so basically this sleeping pad goes in a sleeve like this on the bag I never did it like this when it's on the ground Probably easier like this, but I usually stand it up and put it in. But this part here goes over this. And what's pain in the neck about this is this corner right here. This corner right here can rip. And you kind of, it takes a while to get used to it. But, uh, as you see, I got the sleeping pad in here, and I gotta drive it around where it doesn't go anywhere. It's air pockets in it, like flipping it around. But as you can see, side by side, the difference on the sleeping pad and the sleeve is totally different. Totally different on the sleeping 
completing pad sleeves. As you can see side by side, Big Angus versus the Lost Dog. I like the Lost Dog more because you can get the valve right here. And on, on this one, the valve's right here, so at least it's a little bit better. And once you get used to a sleeping bag like this, to uh, sleep systems, actually it's, it's like a piece of cake walking down the street. But I've been using the uh, Sea Summit bag for my sleeping bag. But the difference between the old buckles are the standard old buckles for the uh, Sea Summit stuff bag for waterproof. The newer ones have a replacement buckle. You can replace your buckle with a screw. So you can carry uh, replacement buckles like this that have the little screw thing to it and you can replace them. That's a good idea that they came out with. I wish um, um, a lot of companies came out like this. But you get to use these little uh, buckles. At, you get them as a backup. So you can replace any kind of snap buckles that you're using. So... Like when you got brand new buckles, they're kind of hard when you first use them. Um, overall, I'll do a better review about this, and I'll do a separate review about this. And after I get done with this video, um, down the line, I'll make a review on this, and I'll make a review on this. The climate self. Inflate V sleeping pad looks like it's no longer made uh, from climate. I think they were doing a test, see how what kind of mark it was. Uh, they're trying to catch up with um, Thermarest. Um, it's kind of harder than um, the Thermarest mat, but this one here, the Sea Summit, I'll see how it is when I'm out there in the road after the 15th of. Uh, uh, July uh, is my last day here in the motel. I'll be going to Motel 6 to recuperate, just redo my bike, and I go back down. I'll ride back down Pacific Beach from here, and that's what I'm going to be continue doing. Um, plan my bicycle trip on the uh, Pacific Coast bicycle route, maybe uh, Southern Tier. Bicycle route from Austin, Texas to Tampa, Florida. Uh, I really don't know if I want to stay in California. I like to get out of California. But my plans is from Sacramento to the coast down to San Diego on the Pacific Coast. Peace out. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Remember, upper right hand corner, subscribe to my channel. You'll see in the future. Um, videos of me uh, posting about my future trips or any gear I buy. Um, and if you uh, like my page on Facebook, uh, Bicycle Tour and Explorer, I'll have a group. Uh, I have a group on Facebook called Expedition Bicycle Tour and Adventurers Forum. I want to change it to Bicycle Tour and Explorer Adventurers Forum. Um, I also have a Bicycle Tour group slash bike packing gear talk uh, form um, it's not really mandatory about but it's okay if you want to talk about it but peace out y'all have a safe night and whatever's going on right now in the world you be safe all right be careful